into the fish vending machine. Good morning. We're pumped up. We just parked the vehicle. We're gonna walk over. Hopefully they got some good stuff in there. We can buy all the fish in there. So. I think it's gonna be good, ladies and gents. I mean, we brought some cash to spend. We're gonna buy like every usual, single thing though, we can. You guys know where we were last night. Yep. You guys already know, like, this is just the leftovers. Yeah, yeah, you guys know where we're at. We got the leftovers, we're gonna get some fish. That's a good, uh, it's a good morning, so let's go do it. Let's freaking go, baby! We're here, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. Bad news, no stocking date, last service date, no date on uh, the machine, and- And we have shiners and eye crawlers shiners today. Shiners and eye crawlers, so we're gonna get every single, let's just get everything. It's, is it just me, or is, is, the, is the vending machine slowly going downhill? I think it's going downhill. Slowly but surely, it's just getting- Just shiners and- uh... Shiners, yeah, like we've been coming often, and we're like, the people want vending machine videos, but they haven't been stocked, so the only option is to do- Shiners and night crawlers. Shiners and night crawlers. And let's get them all. Let's just do it. Put this money in. One. Wow. Okay, at least it's getting better at taking my money. Two, three, let's go. Oh, I put a dollar extra, I put one dollar too many in. There we go. Boom. All right, we got our shiners. Wow. Are you so excited? I'm actually excited because now we get to go fishing. Well, now the, at least we have a plan of what to do with the fish vending machine. We can actually still incorporate the fish vending machine into our video, which is huge. So here's tote number one, let's get some more. All right, let me whip out my bands real quick again. Yeah, Jack's got them. Ready? Yeah. Shiner me. Shiner me, Blazer. All right. We got our second tote of shiners. We have an idea with the fish that we got out of the vending machine. We're gonna catch some epic fish with the fish from the vending machine. So, there you go. There you have it. Let's get into it. Let's go catch some fish. Let's go. All right, we just made it to our fishing spot of the day, and we've got the shiners right here inside of the vending machine tote. Looks like we got four inside here. Usually it comes with like three to four. It all really kind of depends, but since these ones are on the smaller size, I think that's why we've got four in here. So we're gonna use these right here and hopefully be able to pull out some super awesome fish from this area right here. We got things like largemouth bass, peacock bass, gars, snook, tarpon, cichlids, you name it. It's all literally swimming up and down this canal right here. It's one of my favorite spots to come and fish. Oh, and I left out the snakehead. There is snakehead in here as well. But it's one of my favorite spots to come here and fish because the opportunities are endless. So let's see what we can get today. All right, guys, we're risking it all right now. We got lightning right there at that storm, but I just walked up to the first spot where we're gonna fish. I put one of the shiners on that we just got from the vending machine and there was two tarpon literally sitting right here. Two of them. I need to be careful because we're at the spot that uh, was Fish Guy Chris's worst day ever. Uh, I had a flat tire to start my day. My reel broke instantly right when I got to the spot. I put a hole in my favorite shorts and I laid in an ant pile that the ant bites are still on my butt and my back and my hands and all over me. That was very painful. So we're at that spot. Maybe it'll be a different day today for Fish Guy Chris. So we just turned a baby shiner into a decent sized little cichlid here, a little invasive cichlid. These guys are invasive, they're actually pretty cool. You know, they got the cool colors, but that's one bait for another. These guys can be used as bait if we see a giant fish like we did last time when we saw the actual canal monster, the giant like 40 inch snook that swam down. If we see that thing and we pitch this guy to him, he might want this versus a little shiner. You know, this is a giant bait. We're gonna so, turn this into Big Betsy. It's almost like a little you know, what do they call food chain challenge right here? Shiner to cichlid. Now we need the canal monster. Huge tarpon. Huge tarpon just ate my bait. This is where you steal Dude. fish. This is where you steal fish. Bro, leave the shiner out there. Let her Dude. soak. I saw him turn on my bait and eat it sideways, and his his uh, the side of him shine in the light. He was this tall. I was not catching him on this little reel, bro. He was, yes, you were. Bro, he's huge, dude. No, there are some really big fish in here, like a lot of really big fish. There's a lot of really small fish. There's just a good variety. That's why we like, like to come and fish this spot because you can catch largemouth bass, peacock bass, and catch snook and tarpon all in the same area. Right bait at the right place at the right time equals success. So let's just see what happens. I literally did not even know what I could have done. That was insane. Toss him out. That was actually I saw insane. the big boil too after. Turned on and went boom, like our tarpon eats in the pond and boom. Yeah. That's the one that ate Tarpon my on. Fish, bro. Jack stole my fish. I told you I just saw one Jack roll. Jack stole my fish. Watch your line. Oh yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Freshwater tarpon out here, baby. Chris, you got a net? Oh! I'm losing, Jack. Let's go. Dude. Let's Dude. go. Nice little like three pound tarpon, four pound tarpon maybe. 
ate my bait like down on the bottom. Here he is, right here. Oh, he's all in the weeds. Where can you catch? Let's go. And fight a tarpon. Oh! Where can you fight a tarpon and get tangled in lily pads, dude? I'm telling you. People hate on the spot, but heck, you can't beat it. Let's go down to that rock and let's go land him. Jack. Jack, I got this. Jack, you want this? I hope I don't get sitting in an ant pile again. Oh, he's Whoa. gone. No way. No way. Wait, what happened? I just lost him. We had that fish whooped. We had him whooped. And he came off at the last second. Look, he just, eventually the line just gave out. And there it went. All right, we made it to spot number two. We had some nice fish at our first spot, but now we we're- We did. Gonna... Had some good opportunities there. I mean, we had some big fish. Big, nice, nice tarpon. I'm Juicies. very upset that we, we lost that guy. But now we're in spot number two. Let's get out here and slay some fish. Let's go. We're running low on baits, but we got to make it happen. Yep. I think we're going to be able to get it done here. I so agree. This, this lake is, is loaded. It's fishing in a barrel. Yep. Let's fish in a barrel. Now, while we're out here, we really got to be on some serious high alert while we're near the waters because in the last week, Chris's father has seen two alligators that are estimated at seven feet, although yes. those aren't giant, like 10 feet, but seven foot gator, if it charges you and gets your leg, I hate to break it to you. We all it's saw what happened to that dear grandma. Gone. Yeah. Rest in peace. It can happen to any one of us, so we gotta be on high alert, all right? A lot of fish in this lake, but there's also a lot of gators, and they actually saw it like right over there, literally right over there, and then the other time it was on the bank, like right here, so. So I'm on high alert. Yeah, we gotta be careful. <laughs> What's going on? I could use a fish though. Holy, is that the gator? That better not be the gator. Do you see that? Did you just see that? Yeah, I did. Oh, are you on? No, I thought I saw your line going. What was that boil? Was that the gator? I don't know, bro. Did you see that tracking of water right there? I know, there? that was bad. That was fast and on the surface. So that's worrisome. I got my eyes peeled like a lemon. Peacock right here on the bank. You see that thing floating? He's moving, he's moving, he's right there. He's on it, he ate it, he ate it. Nice, Chris! Nice, Chris! Got him, baby. Nice, Chris! Yes, sir! Heck yeah, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Nice! That's a good one, Let's bro! Let's go, that's fat! That's a fatty! That's a fat a peacock! Fatty McGee. Heck yeah! Catching fish with the vending machine, with the, <laughs> catching fish with the vending machine fish, right here, baby. Literally. Right in the corner of the mouth, dude. Perfect that's hook a beauty. set. Yeah, you like the hook set, Jack? Yeah, that was nice. That's a good one, bro. That is, yeah, that's like, that's about like two pounder. Two pounder. Ow. Came up and smoked my vending machine shiner. Ow. Now watch out, Jack, because the gators, they hear that commotion and they want to eat. Holding your fish. It's all right. All right, there we go. The second fish of the day, I think. We're not gonna count the tarpon, but we will count the cichlid. A gorgeous peacock bass. And guess what, now it's Jack's turn to fish. My I turn. caught a cichlid and now a peacock bass and you've caught nothing. I've caught so nothing far. yet. I've caught nothing yet, but I've had a holy grail on. Lost so, it. I mean, Jack claims to be the professional here. I mean, I think I'm three and out. Turn around, buddy. I gotta get away from the bank. Oh, oh there, there he, goes. he goes, he's gone. Look at what he did. That's yeah. the thumb of a fish guy. That's the thumb of a fish guy, ladies and gents. I gotta go get my rod, I gotta go get me a bait. Dude, Jack's something's turn. blowing up right there. Jack's turn, here. What are you giving me? Just, I'm looking at you. I'm ready, let me go get my rod. Okay. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. See him? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him, baby. Oh, yeah. Colorful one. Let's go, Yew. Jack. Let's go. Dude, these are bigger peacocks, Dude, bro. Dude, these are nice peas, bro. I don't That's remember them being like that. That's bigger than mine, bro. Yeah, I don't remember. And I had a good one. That's easy, a stud. Easy, buddy. Easy, buddy. That's easy. a stud, bro. Okay, you gotta take it easy, man. You take gotta, it. You gotta hook that's, it. Up. That's nasty. I've never seen one in here with that big head. Look at that head on that thing. Holy <sighs> stud. Dude, that's a good one. He's peeing. He's peeing. Wicked. He's Wicked. actually peeing. Wicked. He's Wicked. A, he actually just peed. I've never even seen a fish pee before. Wicked. He's actually peeing, bro. He just wicketed. <laughs> He's just wicketed. Look at that thing. That's a stud. That is gorgeous. Little bit better color on this one. This one looked like he was sitting on a bed. That's why he looks like he's a lot brighter and he's got that big hump. So he might be mating right now. Might be spawning. His bed's literally right there. And I think the female is literally right behind us. That what is, is that a fish? huge fish, bro. I That's like That's nice. That. That's a good peacock. Two pounder? Let's go. There's definitely some bigger ones in here that we've There's seen. There's some giants, but... bro. That's gorgeous. Look at that mohawk. That's sick. He's got that fish mohawk, bro. Electric. That's epic, dude. Triple spotter. Triple spotter on this side. Triple. Hey, triple spotter. That's rare. Turn this Jack, puppy. Jack, be careful with the gator, bro. Turn this puppy loose. Oh, God. Oh, see, Holy he was ready. Crap. 
He's gone. He was right. That was a good fish. That was a yeah, dude. They're all big. They're all big, dude. They're all nice size today. Yes, sir. Jack's getting real good right now. He's getting confidence back. I'm gonna let him keep fishing. Let him get some points here on the board. Look, there's the female right here. Is she right there? Yeah. Watch this. I'll catch her right now. Oh, she ate it. Got there we it. go. Easy peasy, baby. Done easy dealing. Easy peasy. Got them both. <laughs> <laughs> Got the male and the female. Let's go. The husband and wife. Yep. She's still a good fish, dude. Dude, they're fat. She's still a good fish. All right, there you go. There's the female. You guys can see it's got like literally almost no hump. That's how you can tell it's a female. These fish were both sitting on the bed. Caught the male, came back, got another bait, caught the female. Even that pink is way less than that. Way less, but there you go. We caught the male. Here is the female right here. You guys can see it's got no hump on the top and it's a lot more dull in colors, the females. I mean, the males are a lot brighter because they, you know, they try and track the female, but this guy right still here- Still a good fish, bro. Still a beauty. I'm gonna put this one right back on the bed that we just caught it on, so see you later, buddy. Get out of here. God, they're ferocious. Here we go, baby. It's been a little bit since we had a bite, but. We only got a couple baits left. Yeah, we don't have many baits left either. Peacock. Dude, it's just peacock galore here. It's so many peas. Probably the smallest one of the day. Ugh. Probably the smallest one of the day. That one actually ate my bait out in the middle. Little where... male. Yeah, little male. That one actually ate my bait out in the middle where we haven't really been fishing much, but there you have it. Gorgeous, another peacock bass. Honestly, I'd rather catch these than largemouth though. They fight way harder, they're way prettier. The largemouth bass are a lot of fun though, especially when they get real big, but a little fish like this pulls really hard. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they're just all around fun to catch. Even more fun to catch an artificial though. That is for damn sure. But that's a gorgeous one, send them home. All right, we got a couple baits left, so let's uh, make the most of them. See you, buddy. That was one of the coolest eats I've ever, I've ever experienced, bro. That was so cool. Dude, literally, we're walking down the bank and Chris stops. I'm like, oh my God, he sees a gator or something. I look in the water, he goes, is that thing literally on the land? I thought it was someone that caught the snakehead and threw the it on third, the land yeah. to kill it. It and was literally- It was so far out of the water, bro. It, it, half of its back was out of the water. Yeah. We caught it on the, the GoPro. Water. Hopefully it came out pretty good, but then we both like kind of squatted down and <laughs> He set the hook, but he had a wind knot and it and it cut right at the wind Bro knot though. Broke at the wind knot and I literally had that, that my bait was literally on his forehead, resting on his forehead. And then he like backed up and realized, oh shit, that's a, that's a shiner. Smoked it. Crushed it. That was so sick. Gotta love wind knots though. We Gotta need, love to, we wind need knots. some new gear. We need some new gear one. That thing's been in, in Chris's truck for a while, but that's also a great reason. Good tip here. Don't ever be lazy. Yeah, I was lazy. He right was lazy, there. didn't want to retie. He set the hook on a big fish and it cut like yep. freaking butter. All Never right. be lazy. If the knot looks weird, you retie it. I In know. that case, if you have a wind knot, just get it out or cut it. And I done it. messed up AA, Ron. Yeah, you did mess up. <laughs> All right, we're so, gonna keep chugging. Let's see. No, I don't have a rod though, so it's just you. Sick. Now. What is that out there? Bro, I do not know what that is out there. Could be the gator. Look at them both right there, Jack. Both, big one. Oh my God. Oh, that I was sick, him. Jack. I got him. Nice that one, Chris. Sick. Nice good cast. one. That's Let's a, go. That's a good fish. Let's go. That's a good pee. Whoa. Let's go, it's the biggest one of the day. I think that is. Let's go, baby. We are crushing, dude. We are crushing. Flip them up, dude. Watch that commotion out there. Oh Holy cow, that's a stud, Jack. That's a stud. That's the best one of the day, dude. That's a stud. That's a hog. Hog secured, dude, that's a stud. He was sitting on his bed with his wife. And now we got a stud. There we go. We are crushing them That is today, a better bro. fish today, huh? We are crushing them, bro. That's definitely, the, I think, the biggest one of the day, for that, sure. Yeah, that's a stud. They're sitting literally right here on this He's bed so right behind us. so lit up green too, bro. It's so sick. Right behind us. The female's still around, but that is, I love catching peacocks so much. Yeah, that's a sick fish. Mini spotter. Ooh, a multi-spotter. Multi-spotter. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Peacock bass, baby. Goodbye, my friend, right here. This is literally the bed he was on. Nice. Take him right, right back to his bed. <laughs> Holy pulls wake. Whew. That's, so that's a stud fish, That's Jack. a stud. That might Let's be a, go, that's a good one to end on, I think. That's a good one to end on right there. All Mr. right. Mr. Gario. Where is he? He's literally... He's on it. Oh yeah, he's all over it. He's, he's just ate it. it. Yeah, he just ate it. I saw that. I still I see it's hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, once you once you see it disappear, you can get it's him. Disappeared. All right, go for it. Oh! oh! He spit it. It is so difficult to hook gar. They are ultra prehistoric. You got to think of it as like you're trying to drive a hook through like a brick or cement. That is how hard. They're made out of like literally bone. It's very tough to uh, to hook gar. That is for damn There's sure. There's an insane amount of fish here, though. We've There's seen so every many. single fish you can think of. I think we can catch more fish with uh, our baits 
and we're gonna be coming back and using our baits. Our Fish Guy Mystery Fishing Box is coming out soon. We're gonna come back here, we're gonna use those baits, and I guarantee you we slay way more. Something about a top water bite, man, and we're gonna give it to them. So be ready, get your Fish Guy hat on, get your Fish Guy Mystery Box out. Let's do it, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.